Hello everyone. Welcome to my lecture. Today we will see the memory base question which is on December 2023. You can see today a very few hour one, one hour before a examination conducted. So I have discussed a few questions related to this memory base. Myself Dr. Harish Kar. You can see my playlist CSR Net Gate. You can see the PY question completely. If you are new to my YouTube channel, you can simply subscribe and you can watch my all complete lectures available at here. Now the first question is this. It is given that AIJ is the matrix which is defined like of i into j then which of the following is my uh, one of the eigen value. So as I mentioned you in my previous shortcut tricks you can always take the value of the n. The lowest value of the n is my 3. So then what will be your answer? Your matrix A is my 3 cross 3 matrix. So that A11 one, one. it is my 1. A12 that is the product of this. So it's a 2 1, it's a 2 2 and it's a 6. It's a 3 1, 3 2, 3 3. Now clearly says you can see that what is the rank of this matrix. So clearly say the rank of this matrix is 1 because this element all these are all equivalent to the 1 2 3 of this. Fine. So once the rank is 1 so what is the nullity of this? Nullity is my 2. So what does the meaning of the nullity 2? It means it has two eigenvalues with the values 0, 0. So therefore it has a three eigenvalues, two eigenvalues my 0. What is the third eigenvalue? Third eigenvalue is my trace. So the trace will be 14. Now you can substitute n is equal to 3 in the option. It is not a 14. It is not a 14. It is 3 into 4 divided by 2. It is a 6. It is not possible. So 3 into 4, 6 plus 7 over 6, 2 and 14. So the right answer is my D is the correct option. You can see I already explained you this kind of the shortcut tricks in my previous lectures as well. So those who have already watched them, they have cleared this question within a 15 second shortcut tricks. Okay, look at this one, which is given as f of x comma y is a, is a pair of this, which of the following statements are true. If you remember my lecture on the function of the several variable, fine. If you if you watch my this lecture, like I can show you here, function of the several variable of the differentiability. I already told you if you have the function which is of this form f1, f2 and here, then when is said to be the continuous, if each of the fi's are my continuous, then you can say the function is continuous. You can see all are my polynomial of degree. 1. Every polynomial of degree 1 is my continuous. So it means f1 and f2 both are continuous. Therefore, this is my continuous. When is said to be the differentiable? If fi's are my differentiable. Now clearly sees again it's a polynomial. Every polynomial is a differentiable. Fine. So this option is also correct. If the par uh, all the partial derivative exists, so if the function is differentiable, we all know see the function is differentiable it means the fu function has partial derivative exists. Whether it is a uniform continuous, it is not true. Why? It is uniform continuous it depending upon the coefficients of a, b, c, d, e, f. In which field or in which elements it belongs, whether it belongs to the r, q, c or anything. It is not given so that is why this answer is wrong answer. So correct options are a, b, sorry a, c and d are my correct answer. Look at this another one. It's a series which of the following is my convergent. So again, if you remember my lectures on this PY questions on this series, you can see I have a sequence lecture and I have a series lecture which is available in this case like here series of the real number and I already explained you what will happen if sometime most of the time the student will think about by P test. It is a half so you can say the divergent but it is a wrong option. You can see uh, what I told you whenever it is a sine cosine term you are always applying the Dirichlet test. What is the Dirichlet test is an bn. You have to find the one sequence which is my decreasing and goes to the zero and another one is my bounded. If these two properties are satisfied then you can say this is my convergent. So clearly say which is a bounded. If I consider Bn is my 
sine of this series fine a n is my 1 over root n now clearly says this is my decreasing and goes to the 0 and this is my bounded so both the properties are satisfied what is the meaning of that this is my convergent series look at this another one what is given to you a series is given to you which of the following is convergent again a very simple you can simply take 1 plus here if I simply choose bn is my 1 over n square then what is my a n over b n fine now how you can apply the limit of this if you take the limit as n approaches infinity you might think that it's my infinity over infinity then uh, either you can apply the allopater rule but but if you remember my shortcut tips which i already gave you in my whatsapp group as well as in my youtube channel i can return here if i substitute n is infinity it will be my of this form so it's a one log one is zero fine so if i substitute here it is it is one over infinity and it is log of one so log of one is my zero which which is if it is a zero then your bn must be convergent then only it will be applicable now you can see it is a convergent by p test so therefore this is my convergent so this is the way you can solve this question in a very simple manner we will come up with some new, uh, new questions in our next video after a few minutes till now you can simply like share and comment on videos best of luck students happy